Here in Idaho, residents love their trucks and SUVs, and for good reason when you consider the numerous jobs that use them on a regular basis, as well as our winter weather and rugged terrain. But with climate change, advancements in technology, and a push to move away from foreign fossil fuels, electric vehicles will be in the spotlight over the next several years. But is Idaho ready to make that transition? I spoke to a few experts to find out. Here in Idaho, you won't find a lot of electric vehicles on the roads, but why is that? Experts say it could be for a number of reasons. Will I be able to charge my vehicle? Will I be able to afford an electric vehicle? Will I be able to afford the insurance for it? Every state has some type of electric vehicle incentive program, but some states have far more incentives than others. You know, the average per state, I believe, is our research shows it's about 18. You know, you look at places like California, they have 116 different incentives. And then just closer to home, Washington has 26, Utah has 17, Oregon has 22. Idaho has nine. In fact, when it comes to EV infrastructure here in Idaho, we rank 41st in the nation when factoring stats like incentives, EV adoption rate, and number of charging stations. These vehicles are embraced more frequently in urban areas and highly concentrated areas and you see you know larger cities versus more rural areas obviously idaho has a lot of wide open spaces the state says it's aware of these issues idaho is on the um, late end of ev acquisition or proliferation uh, in terms of ownership but what we're seeing over the past two years is a significant increase for example right now since 2020, we've seen a 269% increase in EV and hybrid ownerships in Idaho. And though that number only equates to around 5,000 EVs in Idaho, give or take, that number should be taking off over the next few years after the passing of the bipartisan infrastructure bill last year. Idaho, over the course of the next five years, will receive just under $30 million for deployment of EV charging stations and related infrastructure across designated alternative fuel corridors. Idaho will receive the funding through their five-year National Electric Vehicle Infrastructure Program, also known as NEVI. Year one will partially consist of a study to identify the best and most efficient spots for direct current fast charging stations all around the state. Once those, those sites are identified, then we will open up a competitive grant opportunity for private parties to apply to the state of Idaho to access these funds, which will be utilized to help purchase a charging station. That basically means that in time, EV charging stations will be just like standard gas stations that we'll use every day. And though that sounds convenient, it still doesn't change the amount of state incentives there are for purchasing an EV. Matt Sizemore, Idaho News 6. And you could see more American-made electric vehicles on the road soon. Ford is planning to boost production of electric vehicles. On Monday, the company announced new supply deals for lithium products used to make EV batteries. They'll plan to produce 2 million EVs a year by 2026. Ford also plans to increase production of gas-powered cars.